what's going on guys, Command here, and welcome to another tutorial video. Now, this is... I got an inspiration from this because of a problem that I've been having, and not that all of my other tutorial videos haven't come from inspiration from what I've been having, but it's, like, my previous tutorial videos are things that, like, either I don't think people would understand how to do, or, um, I've found out what that I can do this certain thing, and I think I should allow everybody to know, so I post it on YouTube so everybody knows. But this was more, the inspiration for this was more that I had a problem myself, and I gave up on it for ages, and I never got around to actually search up for a solution. And then um, one day I just thought, I'm going to search the internet until I find the solution to this video, to this problem, and I'm going to solve it properly. Now, the problem that I'm I'm talking about is the green models in Star Wars Empire at War with the Clone Wars mod. Now, if you're not aware of what Empire War is, Empire War is a Star Wars RTS, which is a real-time strategy. A bit like Halo Wars, um, a bit like Stellaris, etc. Um, and I absolutely love the game. Now, I'm not... With things like... Um, Empire at War. It's the same with Battlefront 2. I'm not much of a vanilla person. I don't like playing the vanilla edition. Do not, but not because I don't like it, because I do, but because they're quite old games, um, they're not very exciting in the way of what can be done, how diverse they are, the strat the strategic like elements to it um, are not very, like, good, if that makes sense. So, I like playing around with mods. As you know, with Battlefront 2, I've got loads and loads and loads of mods, because I do sh mod showcases on them, and tell you what I think about them, and I re really love modding Battlefront 2. Um, now, I don't mod um, Empire War very often, but I do love the Clone Wars mod, because I'm a massive fan of the Clone Wars. It looks visually amazing, and it's just generally awesome. Now, um, just recently, within the past few months, Steam um, updated um, Empire War so that you can now play online without using Game Ranger. So, uh, they did it with Battlefront 2 just recently. But with that update, there was a bug that was created with that that Steam have yet to fix, have yet to fix which basically, with the Clone Wars mod, and maybe some other mods, the, um, the models of the characters in the game, so the ships, the planets, the units, etc., are all just green. There's no, all the models don't actually have any skins like they're supposed to, it's just green. They, the models, it's, it's just green models. Now, this happened to me, I noticed this ages ago, and I searched up on the internet for ages of how I can sort this out. I couldn't find anything, I couldn't decide, find anything else that, um, that I could possibly think was wrong with it. So I was thinking, why is this happening and where, what is it that it's gone wrong? Now, I'm going to show you what it, what the problem is, I'm going to show you how to solve it. It's literally a deleting of one folder so without further ado let's go all right so to start with we need to open file explorer now um if you don't know how to open file explorer i've got it got it in a button on the bottom of my on my taskbar um if you don't have it you can press um you can press the windows key on your keyboard and e that will also open up file explorer or if you want to, you can type in your search bar, File Explorer, and it will pop up. So, now that we've opened File Explorer, um, we need to go to this PC, or my computer, depending on what version of Windows you're on. Um, local disk, which in my case is the C drive. Uh, program files x86, if you're on a 64-bit um, system, you will have program files, and then program files x86, you want x86. Um, unless your Steam is in a different folder, um, then you go to wherever your Steam is and where your Steam games are. So for my case, it would be Steam in, pro in x86 program files, Steam apps, common, Star Wars Empire at War, corruption, mods, 
Star Wars The Clone Wars 4, if I'm right, right in saying that's what, that is, what it, that number is. Data. Art. Now, here we have the shaders folder. Now, this little bugger is... <laughs> this little um, thing is what is causing all of the problems. This is what's causing all of the green models. So, what we need to do is we need to right-click and delete that file. That's it. That is the entire problem solved so now if i go so now i'm going to load up empire war into the clone wars mod and i'm going to show you that that problem is fixed all right guys so i've loaded up empire war forces of corruption in the clone wars mod and as you can see everything's solved it's perfectly fine i do apologize for the little bit of lag um, in the game it's mainly just because i've got to have it in the window um in windowed mode because my recording software will not record um, it in full screen mode for some weird reason. I don't know why that is. But anyway, um, that might be a tutorial for another time. Um, but, yeah, let me just close this down now. And go back onto my desktop. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Also, wait, um, if you have the disk version, um, it's basically the same. So, you go into your program files, x86, um, and somewhere, if you if you bought it through GOG, um, it should be somewhere here that says GOG. Um, or it'll be on your LucasArts and it will be in here somewhere, like for um, Empire at War. And you basically just go through, so long as you can find your Empire at War folder, it will still be the exact same rule. So long as you've got the um, Clone Wars mod in the correct folder and you've got everything as it should be, everything will run perfectly fine. And um, it should hopefully work. I'm pretty sure it will work. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't do. So anyway, having said all that, that is about all we have time for in this tutorial video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. I found, I spent ages trying to find out how to do this um, this thing and how to fix this bug because it was really annoying me. Because that Clone Wars mod, I spent ages on. I love that mod. It's probably I've. I've made a load of mods in my time. Uh, no, not made. I've played a load of mods in my time. I've played, especially with M um, Empire War. I've played the Empire War remake. I've played a bit of Thorns Revenge, and the Clone Wars mod is by far my most favourite mod of all of them. I love it to pieces. It's just my most favourite mod. Just because I love the Clone Wars TV series. But anyway, I'm not going to do any more rambling or ranting anymore. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome gaming content. And I shall see you all later. Bye!